to Guild Day as Guild Bearer. Smile am she was all to a she clear in a gale with gold gold tire cart in a shame, Robert Cutting Carswell, Robert Carslach. I'm a heard tale of old Bobby Bob. And it's my pleasure to present this programme, which goes by the name of Claire Nagale, and which is in two languages. One of them is the English language, and the other language, it's the Manx Gaelic, the mother tongue of Elian Fanning, the Isle of Man. As Bannacht and Juris, well, we've arrived at Peel, as it stood in 1791. And David Robertson tells us that at that time it ranks as the third town of the island, though its impregnable castle once made it the most important. Ton fairly John Seward, as an Olo van Helsing, for Rachten er fiancé Lucy Westenra, as er besen er ege, deschen er jittewe en charn god alming, as shen Arthur, Arthur, uh, Tershin son chit, as te chit son on look a Lucy, al genis de ta moir Lucy er chimna, a cood sailt ulu desen. In Camborne in Cornwall in the final weekend of April, it's Trevithick Day, celebrating Richard Trevithick, and Richard Trevithick developed the locomotive, the steam engine that could move on, under its own power. Before that, there were lots of stationary engines, but this he developed was the Puffing Devil, which famously went up Camborne Hill on Christmas Eve, 1800. <laughs> Alien Vanin.
Graham Hart and his version of Going Up Camborne Hill, celebrating Richard Trevithick's Puffing Devil. We ended last time with David Robertson saying, Previous to 1765, Peel had a considerable traffic with the Irish and Scotch smugglers, but since then its trade has almost disappeared. And so he goes on. The town, at present, is inert and solitary, and the houses in general have a poor and miserable aspect. Yet, situated near the harbour, are some stately buildings, which may be considered as the, re the only relic of its former wealth and commerce. Small vessels occasionally visit the harbour. Its exports, however, are few, and its imports chiefly from Douglas. The inhabitants are for the most part indolent and poor, but being hardy seem contented with their humble blessings. Peel Bay is spacious and abounds with a variety of fish, particularly with the red cod, which is an exquisite delicacy. It's of a bright vermilion colour and feeds among rocks covered with weeds and mosses of a crimson tinge. From these, perhaps, this beautiful fish derives its peculiar colour, for, as the vermilion hues of the moss and plants fade, the bright beauty of the fish also decreases. For Arthur, jerk it a quag at a clag, my so beckon rosh and thresh en, for kyrtain, den chamer vesh, pshen mor vi, un sledden firnius, er a fever, et er a voir zanin, den la yonji. Van on look at her, freger hart den cher jegge, and yin a tash ben a share o de ge jen chu jegge. As for erach che inad ne meriu mechion a vol ren lagachen an mina nine chillirach. Hugman Helsing sere, de eirter a rechis von roschen, as e salgech a mach leschen charn got alming chit de leer, de berge slu burach de den enjach den egge, de fagen ulju ver marn jen fiance egge, as ish sledden a lummerken. Fe ti yn ddraw greu'n cwrdd er yn onlwch y dreg y volfen y seg y hyn, ys rhen i afrach y dy crai, dy chor iddyn rhys y sted fod ffeg y tain yn ni rôs sian. Well, it was fairly energetic going up Camborne Hill, so time for a sleep perhaps. This is Emma Christian.
the Oren Savinach, the slumber song performed by Emma Christian on voice and harp. Vol you jint the berg lietne grainen, as vaked on shana de enyach den arthur tre harase, ernen spereil. And dun ye bach. Ve jin trimshach aglach as brisht. Ve jin drau iren immerke firren trammeltegge, a chriva beggen fo freest ne enyach den egge, as huis chone doru. Va fissem drau ele egge de fear as de firrenyach ern eregge. As the call leshen, as a glider cray, she bully gear day. Rums ve cochurgis achis ve riu, as rich van Helsing ve curtol de mean, ach, ga dot me fagen, the rau beggen de chumrail rishen. Rau an hollow tas de jay, yes, as rene caurach a mach, dow de chor leshe sus ne grishen. Ren me shen, as dag me egg doris a jamer. Er son va mi genacht und de bailis fein an lomrken ri de bollach. A chau i marai is ren i li jail mi stiach on. At the north boundary of Peel Bay, says Robertson, is a range of several very grotesque and romantic caverns, supposed by the superstitious natives to be the subterraneous palaces of those sullen and malignant spirits which I formerly mentioned. The south extremity of the bay is formed by Peel Isle, an extensive and lofty rock encircled by the sea, the summit of which is crowned with the venerable and very picturesque ruins of the Castle of Peel and the Cathedral of Mona, dedicated to St. German, the first bishop of the isle. And this is something he comes back to later in the book. And here he continues, This romantic and important spot is still fenced round with a wall having towers and battlements, and before the modern improvements in the art of war certainly repelled every invader. Besides the castle and cathedral, there are scattered around some other noble uh, fra fragments of antiquity, particularly the ruins of St. Patrick's Church, the Armoury, the Lord's Mansion, and the Episcopal Palace. Welsh band Kill Mary and have been in sessions playing that tune Fiddle Faddle with fiddler there Hugh Jones uh, shouting Eto, Eto to keep that going around great fun. Station, 
Nashun and Ashun to Nash or Radio Vanning, she Claire and Gail with Scholar Scalia Mach. As Mr. Chapel, Robert Coutine Carswell, Robert de Carslach. Ever heard tell of old Bobby Bob? As more jit the way rigor, Sillian Shaw, Terum Gradeville Claire and Gail Master, and a heathen the podcast and Miss Rogan Nasty. As for the shoe course yacht, the Gadnad through Dinadega Radio Vanning Heen, the Vi Kerder and Podcast Elia, the Vis Rai Yaum, the Mastock, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Audible, Spotify, Google Podcasts, tune in, na Alexa. And Robertson continues. From these relics we may, however, conjecture that before the erection of Castle Russian, Peel Castle was the residence of the princes and peers of Mona. But, alas, its ancient grandeur has long since perished. The once formidable strength of its battlements and towers is now yielding to the injuries of time. Its massy col- columns are levelled with the dust, and its ornaments lie scattered around among noisome weeds, while the mouldering walls are in many places only supported by the clasping ivy. Yet such is the general fate of humanity. Time has defaced the grandeur of this Gothic edifice, and sooner or later the same power will triumph over human genius and destroy every monument of the pride of man. Virtue alone will survive the wreck of the worlds, for virtue, though human, is immortal. My word. To this account of Peel Isle, I shall beg leave to subjoin Mr. Gross's more minute description. Now, this is Captain Francis Gross, about 1731 to 1791. He was from Middlesex, although Gross, G-R-O-S-E, is a Cornish name. Anyway, we'll come to him anon. Durte de Fierchenach. Vagraia Dorinius, Machian, when you been. Didn't she that will you, Machian? As her out car her be as in it, the sned eggers of three eknos. Casemps are an act of her boistots on all you tow and you know her son. Can not them smunny in her force. Unsure do Tajimach Renny Bridger, as Hiawi a Rayachin Magit no Gilchen, Magilchen, as Huggy a Hion the Liar Machrish. Cowds we dobber and oh Jack, Jack, cravis for the yun the wine, te jean the vel na cleden ve er sulva mulu egen untre, as na vel vegs a clen sails a cleden tail, fain genusus or thou tanacht and bio. Ren me gurgeche huishes dalt me. Ons did the hush gen el denia fame rauer gone, grey mer lau. Rai na sgena er a gheilin, saach co emsirach, ta tsio sesna rysach vis der gus cri dynia. Now, after sunset on the 30th of April, it'll be May Eve, and this is a song written by Paul Rogers in 2020 to celebrate Eve Alden, and performed by Paul, joined by his wife Anna, I think, on the chorus. <laughs> Ei van laste ons dag arm klinkes komen mal veru Pulji dal en shaji kam geit da witches can a so nach i wol den asen i dans ti mer in energy street and fat and chit this very ni and saura as bluffton we troch the body sound ek fai ya me che ek prejil le ver mit blech en ocean tai cross ik ne from the nerve nach i wol den asen i dans ti mer in Paul Rogers in his song for Eve Alden. Bami Machado gin glacierers gin fogel, derra ren the sachenegger, jayer soul. As I stood me rich the cune. Tar as ji hurry. 
Kuja Chaisen Harish Gusalyabi, as Hrog me and then Rit Kiel Vine Edenek. Ma ye, Hosselavi, Ve Jean Drau Dahur Corden Elijak. Ve Coral as Yindus Orum Began, as her son Arthur, Henke de Ve a Crow, as Egajera Ve a Crail a Stut Mordeberg Crayon Ginuer. For Yera, look Fergach Lauer. Durte rum und sanisch fes, Jack, wel i maru de fier? Rem mi schigere ge de trimschacht der au schen mer re. As hei mi er de chorlige de, as mis gennachten a glieser glieder dut grene tannachten on, rischallet ne soldier, ne wons me voor de liegeles, de raue en ach de mannig. Now, Captain Francis Gross visited the island in 1774 and he published his Antiquities of England and Wales in 1787. In fact, that included the Isle of Man. David Robertson says that Francis Gross has anticipated some of those observations which occurred to me on visiting the place. The following particulars are transcribed from the fourth volume of his Antiquities of England, and he quotes here. Peel Castle stands on a small rocky island, about a hundred yards north of the town. The channel which divides it from the mainland at high water is very deep, but when the tide is out is scarcely mid-leg deep, being only separated by a little rivulet which runs from Kirk German mountains. The entrance into this island is on the south side, where a flight of stone steps, now nearly demolished, though strangely cramped with iron, come over the rocks to the water's edge and turning to the left, others lead through a gateway in the side of a square tower into the castle. Our Breton singer-songwriter Madeleine Anne and her band released the album Neves Amzer on the 24th of March, and this is the title track.
Neves Amzer, literally New Time, and that's Breton for Springtime, and that's the title track from the album released, as I say, on the 24th of March by Madeline Ann and her band from the northwest of Brittany. Adjoining to this tower is a strong vaulted guardroom. The walls enclose an irregular polygon whose area contains about two acres. They are banked with towers and are remarkably rough, being built with a coarse grey stone, but coined and faced in many parts with a red grit found in the neighbourhood. It is highly probable this island has been fortified in some manner ever since the churches were but the present work ever since the churches were, but the present works are said by Bishop Wilson to have been constructed by Thomas Earl of Derby, who first encompassed it with a wall, probably about the year fifteen hundred. Here are the remains of two churches, one dedicated to St. Patrick, at the era of its erection unknown, the other called St. Germans, or the cathedral constructed about the year 1245. It is built in the form of a cross with a coarse grey stone, but the angles, window cases and arches are coined and formed with the stone found hereabouts almost as red as brick. The denk Edinen look bass, the ve na smiler, as ear sight chuns elig and egijok. The rau shaw and ach der ye trevor pert the horren skier na shint mach rosh bass. Ve gin the ren shaw getten re the bollock ristut der be, as look the glunal yorish and esha gris tamult as gin ori de gryach, as ris trail yawer. Hin de a voy. Dinch me de the rau and treer jits on coarse Erno drau famer jinu erlu a coffin. Ma so higher ish as gawe a lau varus a lau ege as huggi pegji, as rene croma heri as huggi pegd an vesek. Henke er sul as e gian back herish a gila nori chauds henke. Deg me as a chamber high as dinch me de van helsing drawe a horse led nori. Ma so High eschen gus a chamber early, the inch de denia and on look at the, the gull air less gin a whirlu as the scrod a dunch a coffin.
Well, we scarcely heard Tom Alexander playing his accordion last time, so the Flying Scotsman returned to the tracks for us this time with that medal melody. Uh, melody? A series of med melodies. In fact, it was a medley, and that was a muddly. Every weekday evening at 6pm here on Manx Radio, we bring you a variety of programmes reflecting island life, celebrating our vibrant arts. This is a poem written by John Dog Collister. Traditional culture and Manx language. Looking back at days gone by. We put the bread and cheese and all out for the fairies. Exploring the political world and highlighting the quirkier side of life. Lick my finger. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> you got it. Did you it. did it. <laughs> Tune in live to our Island Life programmes weekday evenings at 6pm and subscribe to the podcast at manxradio.com. Here at QPlus, we're not just blue, we're green. From smart boilers to heat pumps, QPlus supply products from the leading brands in renewable energy for a cleaner, greener home. So call in to QPlus on Snugborough Trading Estate, the island's largest independent plumbing and heating merchants for trade and retail. Or call 673 131 to talk to our friendly experts about the latest cost-effective products in home heating and find out what we can do for you at QPlus. From our castles to our cottages, our museums, and the great Laxey Wheel. You'll find hidden treasures around every corner when you visit a Manx National Heritage site. Fill your summer making treasured memories with Manx National Heritage. Sites now open every day. By visiting, you help protect our treasured island for generations to come. Plan your visit today at manxnationalheritage.im. Visit Just Care Products right behind B&Q and see our wide range of mobility aids. From small, everyday items to rise recline chairs, beds, scooters and our airline-friendly foldable power chair. Plus, we are the island's only stockists of cosy feet footwear. Just Care Products, right behind B&Q. Just Care Products, 6 to 7, 177. Would you consider leaving a gift in your will to Hospice, Isle of Man? As a charity, we need to raise millions every year just to continue providing our services. Your support means that we can give our care to all those who need it, when they need it, completely free of charge. If you're considering making a will or adding a hospice donation to your will, please give us a call to find out more on 672222. Every penny raised makes a huge difference to every individual and family who needs us. Thank you. Facebook, it's a great way to keep informed and keep in touch. And for businesses, you want to see high numbers of good reviews? Well, at IM1 Car Centre, we'd like to thank our customers for their generous and kind comments because we're proud to say that IM1 Car Centre has over 370 five-star reviews on Facebook. Customers know that we price our cars fairly, so visit us today on Facebook or at Domain Road, Douglas. IM1 Car Centre, the only island dealer with over 370 five-star customer reviews on Facebook. On Saturday the 6th of May, celebrate Eurovision coming to Liverpool by booking the station legend's Eurovision train. Dress up Eurovision style on the night for a fun three-course dining car party experience with Manx Radio. Find out more at rail.im or book now on 697 457. Eurovision Greatest Hits, in association with your nation station, Manx Radio. Manx Radio. Stasiun a nasiun to Radio Vanning, as cartnes se clair na geil was gul er skeil iamach. Mish, Robert Cutting Corso, Robert Corslach. Did the other here tell of old Bobby Bob? Tre henke maag as een chamer is, dins me de me gewoon feest Arthur, as dregerij. Gaan jullie stel, kaart nis de machine do jail rechallig. Rensje nolje goilje neer kujach, as dat me vagen der ou aard baag kor eber jinnoe goed scher. We hebben helsing tostach a kleden treje neer, ach. Trev on a cigar and four de shine dorte. Machyarn, a chren nath a brishest jacher, gene, gene, ginchens on grai ye, gene, four seg a good slew, lie, dow a vinescher, 
Crawi ffôm lord de gyr, si un rhych yn erno, draw yn col em chynno. Dan sŵr yn olw ffi fi'n. Ta mi dyn nhw ymyd jyn en ym sian un rhych yn erno, dy fel dwt em. Cynnaid yn daw greu, mae'n siwr ot. Ys te ar jyt orm, dy chor eile oort. Te ar jyt orm, dy fel eile em oort. Te, mae gilio fi'n, dy fel eile em oort. Mae'r Arthur. The mixture of colours has a pleasing effect, says Gross, and gives a richness and variety to the building. The cathedral is now extremely ruinous, much of it unroofed, and the remainder so much out of repair that it wouldn't be over safe for a congregation to assemble in it. The eastern part of it is, however, still covered and shut up, in which there are seats and a pulpit. This is back in 1774, of course, when Gross was visiting. This was the Episcopal Cemetery, and the inhabitants still bury within and about its walls. Beneath the easternmost part of it is the ecclesiastical prison. The descent into this vault is by eighteen steps, and the roof is vaulted by thirteen ribs, forming pointed arches, and supported by as many short semi-hexagonal pilasters, only twenty-one inches above ground. The bottom of this place is extremely rough, and in the northwest corner is a well or spring, which must have added greatly to the natural dampness of the place, to which there is no other air or light, but what is admitted through a small window at the east end. Now, I'm sure if you were in that crypt you'd ask, how long is an eternity? That's the question asked here by Keris Havana.
And that's Keris Havana, a singer and triple harp player from Machunchleth, and a song about eternity, Trag with Oldeb. And that's based on an early manuscript that she found in Llyfrgelch Genedlaethol Gymru, the National Library of Wales in Aberystwyth. And this quotation from Captain Francis Gross continues. About the middle of the area, a little to the northward of the churches of St. Patrick and St. Germans, is a square pyramidical mount of earth, terminating obtusely. Each of its sides faces one of the cardinal points of the compass, and measures about seventy yards. Time and weather have rounded off its angles, but on a careful observation it will be found to have been originally the figure here described. For what use this mount was intended may not be easy to determine, Perhaps from this eminence the commanding officer harangued his garrison and distributed his orders, or else it may have been the burial place of some great personage in early times, tumuli of this kind not being uncommon in the island. So this has been an extended quotation from Captain Francis Gross's account of Peel Castle, and though that's ended, David Robinson hasn't done with quotation yet. This account of Peel Isle I shall conclude with the following historical passage from Waldron. So we'll come to that anon. Ren Arthur Sheena Macha Lau, as Gawe Lau a Hian Duny de Gill. Coram Morbait, Dorte, Tammy's trace jail to be en or marach mor cara. A sleek thou grain about Foglen em de Hor Buistuts on Ulu de Hingelus de Mabernin Boch. Rene Fargach Ristullach, as high air. The fish em that I wish tickled the hingelus ear na share na mish, as vami lunach na nyau hui, as mavami lunach na nyau hui again treshen renu te kunyan eder, renan allu snoggle, signed it lie that way. Dan sura les kingelus trom hushach, the fish em that I wish dolly dutch the hor barant on em the bollock again treshen, as tami gold tast the j novellu. Navadu cor barant on em nish, er no novellu tickle force. As fuddy de be tullu train tre tamigiri us de higgle, tre navadu, as fuddy na jinnu, as nacht naiden touch tickle force. Now, recently we've been hearing some tracks from Irish band Emmett Spiceland from 55 years ago, and here's another such. Oh. From 1968, from their album The First, dot, 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 that was Emmett Spiceland with Stor a Stor a Gra. A chicken tre as neo cor sledden barant on and the bollach, as neo tickle mor de berg solus na grainia sy shain the hrood. Esh neo cor banach dorum, vain toyacht gusingera as the lie heen, as ash lie firelia, as ash lie a vinvach, hulk me gyalden the gin and scorder. 
Uh, David Robertson is going to quote from George Waldron. Now, George Waldron was a commissioner for the British government, sent to the island to report on the trading, the official imports and, well, unofficial exports, as it were, of the trade. But his description of the Isle of Man was published in 1731. And, in fact, that was rather wider than just the comings and goings of the, as I say, the official imports and the unofficial exports. And we'll be dipping into that uh, next time. We'll, We'll be hearing what Robertson has to say in this quotation from that next time. Ach, nicht ein Treier jit de Chorkion er ein Klesch o Riech. Christy D will be along in just a few minutes to present the Sunday chill out between 7 and 9 o'clock, and at 9 we welcome Judith Lay to take us on into the early hours of Monday morning. We finish with another piece celebrating Cornish engineer Richard Trevithick, written by a Cornishman famous for his work with and for brass bands, and that's Gough Richards. And this is his piece which is called Mythic Trevithick, played by the Camborne Town Band. And they'll be joined at the end by the Camborne Parish Church bell ringers. And so, until the next time then, this is Robert Coutine Carswell, Robert Carswell, wishing you a very good night. Leave I'm a chrieri olyw as or sir lie, as my year and shared you.